What is happening, Budge Builders, and welcome back to the GMC Motorhome Rescue. This is a 1973 GMC Motorhome that we rescued from an abandoned piece of property where we've been sitting for many, many years. We got this thing running. We got it back here to the shop. We've been cleaning it up, working on dialing it in, become a family cruiser. Now in our last episode, we started installing all of the roof goodies that we got off of our parts motorhome. In today's episode, we're gonna continue working on the outside because we need to clean it up. We still have a lot. There's acres and acres of buffing and waxing we need to do. We're gonna start resealing and cleaning up the windows, getting all those trim coated, get our new LED lights installed, and then we're gonna go ahead and start working on the inside a bit more. So one thing you'll notice at one point in time when this thing was, this motorhome was actually reworked and everything, all of the trim was painted white and some of the blacks coming through. I'm not sure which step was which, but all of that needs to be cleaned up and we're gonna repaint it all. You will notice somebody got crazy with the goop that we were working on the top there, cleaning it off. I think to start with, we needed to spend a ton of time cleaning this off. Thankfully, the windows were pulled at some point of time and reworked. One thing with these first generation windows is the little cracks here leak. The windows don't seem to have any leaks other than somebody redid all of the felts at one point of time and did not cut drain holes. So these just fill up, water runs over the windows and leaks down. And I bet that's an issue they probably had since they redid this thing back in the 90s. We're gonna put all new felts in this thing because we wanna make sure the outside of this thing is all dialed in so we can, once we put all the good stuff on the inside, we don't have to worry about it getting ruined. Now, first thing I'm gonna do, although dad's sad about it, is pull these Eleganza 2 decals. This thing never was an Eleganza 2. It never will be an Eleganza 2. I'm taking them off of there. This is a, a budget builder series motorhome is what it is now. Why do I always do this? <laughs> That gets me excited to get this thing buffed. I'm pushing and not jabbing, but just slowly pushing. It's working.
holy cow, talk about time consuming, but what a huge difference. And that stuff absolutely had to come off of there. Obviously went ahead and got the goofy tint that was on the outside of that window off. And then we went ahead and also pulled out all of the silicone RTV out of around this window because we have a, you can see where it's separated at the top. And that is where we were getting our leaks. Before we go ahead and do anything else, let's go ahead and buff and wax at least around our windows. So we can go ahead and have that taken care of. Because then we will go ahead and scuff and shoot this with trim black. I think that's gonna make a massive difference. This being multiple colors and everything just looks silly. And I think that'll dial it in. I know we can't film every bit of this. There is a ton involved. This is just huge, but I think it's really, uh, it's making a big, big difference. With all of the adhesive cleaned up, we can go ahead and start working on these windows. Let's go ahead and get all of this pulled out so we're not having to deal with it after everything's painting and take a chance of tearing stuff up here. It is normally glued right on the ends, as you can see here. The rest of it just fits in nice and tight. And like I mentioned before, you can tell it's been replaced because the drain holes were never made. So where these little drains are on the window, you're supposed to open up holes and we'll do that with our new stuff. Let's go ahead and get a, uh, get all this pulled out of here. There we go. Now we should be able to take this glass out. not going to be able to take that glass out <laughs> which is not a bad thing but with it pushed all the way over we need to get all of this adhesive and goop and gunk cleaned up we can also go ahead and clean up our tray on the inside and this right here is why you gotta have those drain holes look where all this water was built up we have moss and mildew built up and that's what's ruined your inner walls we want to make sure we have that taken care of Now let's get her papered and taped up. I know there's like some fancy way you can cut your tape and make your curves and stuff, but I don't know how to do that. So we'll just do a little piece of tape. A little piece of tape. Guess what? Another little piece of tape. And then, another little piece of tape. Followed by, another little piece of tape. That doesn't look good enough. Put on some more tape. It doesn't have to be perfect, 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 because we'll obviously get a nice little bit of silicone once it's done drying. Obviously, as we were chipping all of that goop away, we made sure the loose stuff was off of these. We need to go ahead and scuff it with some Scotch-Brite just to make sure the paint we put on sticks up well, or tacks up well, hangs on there. I 
technically don't have to do this. We're gonna do it just to make our life a little bit easier. Because after you've painted it, this stuff scrapes off really easy with just a razor blade. But, that hurt. At least get a little bit of something or another in there. But the airplanes are just, I guess it's airplane landed in flying time. <laughs> We're going on here with some of the Rust-Oleum trim and bumper paint. The nice thing about this stuff, it's gonna adhere well. It is somewhat flexible, so we don't have to worry about it just chipping right off. And it has a good, it's a, it's considered matte, but it's more of like a satin finish, which is kind of what you want on this trim on these windows. And this should give the uh, outside of the motorhome here somewhat of an updated look, especially down the road once we get these uh, the windows tinted. Now we'll let that tack up for about 15 minutes. Give it a second coat. Should be good to go. So much more crisp. Mm -hmm. With it cleaned up, we can go ahead and start working on our weather stripping. This is going to be a little bit fun. This is a big window, and obviously they come in eight-foot sections, so it doesn't quite make it all the way. It comes to about here. We were worried about the split edge there, but as we slide it back and slide it forward, we're only going to be catching on that smooth curve there, so it should not be too big of a deal. I did order this from Golby, $17 per eight-foot section from Golby versus $34 per eight foot section. Oh, I can't even think. <laughs> Versus $34 per eight foot section from GMC Motor Home Parts. We did order some stuff, including our air, rear airbags that we're gonna install in our next episode. We'll go ahead and start at the top. Basically sliding it in as far as it'll go. The cleaner you get everything, the easier this is gonna be. It's probably far, no, let's go a little bit farther. Now we can take it, and pull it along with the glass, and then actually use the glass to push it up in there. Now we do not want to forget the drain like they did originally so we can see right where we need to put it. So we go ahead and mark right where it needs to go. 
the way very carefully. Got some drain holes, or attempt to at least. Like so. Let's see it line up right there with the hole. Go ahead and do our two corners here. We're just using some black super weather strip adhesive 3M. Don't really need it here, but I'm just using that. But you want to get it in these curves because the uh, new stuff here doesn't have metal in it so it gets a little floppy on these edges that's what we don't want and that'll hold everything in place till it cures That's nice. It's gonna make a little bit of a difference uh, driving this thing. I don't know if you remember on that first drive when we were heading back, this thing was rattling and clanking and clunking everywhere. That and a little bit of rear suspension. This thing should be a nice cruiser, minus the, uh, the fuel economy, minus that. Now for a front window, it goes in in three different pieces. So we've already gone ahead, obviously, installed the front. This little strip here and we'll go to do the bottom now these drains actually come in a little bit different they come in kind of from the side so something to be sure you do is cut it out kind of like that to give us what we need there i'll probably go ahead let's do this rear one as well yep i put the knife in my pocket <laughs> i told you i would do it okay okay let's see is it this seals and we can go ahead and put a small strip of silicone around the outside of the window which is just going to go ahead and completely seal everything in and we should be completely watertight at that point now doing some research talking to some folks what is highly suggested here is this dat products dynaflex ultra and we just got it in black this stuff is paintable what's great about this stuff it is a it is a lifetime mold mildew guarantee so that's good because a lot of times you use a certain silicone to get all moldy and gross this should do really well and apparently all of the professional rv builders and stuff use this stuff on window applications and everything we like dap anyways that's what we use with gluing interiors and stuff in they're great products now to get this to apply as good as possible we've gone ahead and cut the tip off right at the end as small as possible and then i've put two little grooved edges on either side that's going to help us glide smoothly because we tried to tape it it's kind of difficult to do basically the best it looks the best if you can just run it on quickly smoothly and we're just going to try to give it a go trying to do it as smooth as possible i realize this isn't an rw B Porsche or anything, so. And I'm definitely no artist.
anywhere I see where maybe the bead kind of walked off a little bit so hitting up against it, I'm able to take this cup of water here, get some water on it, and push it up into place. We don't want to try to rub it, we don't want to drag it around. Just take it right here, and we can just kind of work it up into place like so. Oh my goodness. Ah, this is not fun, man. Perfect, right? Oh, I hate silicone. Having these cheap alcohol wipes just to clean up the access after we're done here has been so helpful. Now with the windows taken care of, what is one of the biggest eyesores on the side of this thing? It's obviously these wheels. We don't quite exactly know what route we're gonna take just yet, but we do have some wheels we can test to see how they look. Hate to pull them off. We're gonna try these out right here. These are not Alcoa's, they're Alcoa style. These are some old school 1980s Eagle wheels, 16 by six dualies. Eight by six and a half lug pattern, exactly what we need on that thing. So we're gonna borrow them off the old uh, 66 here. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, that's cool. Big time. 
Look how tight it is in here. Got a little rubbage on the 4x4. Four four. Oh, we're going to have to trim our 4x4. Four four. <laughs> well, with it raining outside, we are stuck inside. And I think it's time we go ahead and jump on this headliner a little bit. Now, I wasn't originally necessarily going to pull this, but with the cracks, stuff that needs to be epoxied, maybe fiberglassed and gone over, it'd be a good idea to just go ahead and pull it. Plus, we'd like to go ahead and get LED lights up here and everything. And uh, this thing definitely needs a cleanup, maybe even a paint job. It's like we might have some rivets here to drill. Probably go ahead and detach this. So when we put our new stuff up, we have this in place. And some screws here, as well as around the front. pulling this in a fairly complete section so we can use this old piece here as a template when we go back in with the new. Thankfully, all of the insulation is, what's weird is how thick it is on this one. I've noticed a lot of things where people went in, go in and insulate a little bit better and I'm seeing spots where we're gonna do that on this one, but it's uh, a lot more insulated than I expected it to be. headliner down currently we have plenty of access it's easy enough to get to technically you can address these with the headliner in it's gonna be much easier these things are terrible these are our clearance lights let's go to get some new LED ones put on looks like getting into it here just got a little Phillips screw at the back and your lens pops off and then two screws on the base. Now here are our new lights. Went ahead and ordered amber for the fronts, red for the rears. Obviously right now we're just going on with the ambers. And what's cool is these are literally the same exact ones, except these are LEDs. So these are gonna be a lot different than what these were. And I did actually find these online at Vehicle Safety Supply on you can buy this on amazon they were like 20 dollars a piece or something i think that's what they were 18 or 20 dollars a piece and then like 23 or 24 for the red or wh whichever it was and i was able to order from here for like eight dollars a piece so way 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 less and exactly the same part number and everything so that's a maxima led light right there
wow, what a completely different beast and definitely something we're gonna be so proud to drive. What a cool rig. Definitely feel like those aluminum wheels are gonna be a have to on this thing. I think all terrain tires are just gonna set this thing apart and give it such a cool look. The black painted trim definitely cleans everything up. It updates everything. Just pulling this thing out through the shop yard, it is so much quieter in the interior before you drove around and it was just rattling everywhere and it is so, so much better. Now it's far from perfect, but I will say that silicone lays out extremely easy, extremely well. Definitely something I'd suggest. We'll see as it dries how everything looks. It does, uh, it does dry a really nice crisp black and it looks really nice. Again, not a perfect machine. Definitely some paint spots that we're gonna have to touch up. We have a few ideas on that that we're gonna address. But from this point now on, we are sealed. We're in the clear. Windshields are gonna have to happen eventually. We gotta kind of save up to buy those windshields because of what they cost. There's no point going back with old used ones. We really should do new. So they do not leak at this point. Eventually we will go ahead and put new ones in there. But now we can go ahead and move back into the interior. There's a bits that we need to work on in the outside but it's time to start putting stuff back in. We'll go ahead and work on the headliner, get it all fixed up, get it put back up into place and work up on this forward compartment. But I really hope you all have enjoyed the progress to this point, not quite as much as I was hoping to get done. My wife and I are actually heading out tomorrow morning to St. Thomas Virgin Islands for our first trip ever. My, Kayla and my first trip we've ever been on by ourselves. We're a little nervous to leave the kids at home they're staying with family members and we so not a huge deal i think they're gonna have a great time we're gonna enjoy ourselves and our next upload of course will be on the falcon which uh quick little reveal on it uh, we've been working hard on that thing radiator was completely garbage we did have to order another one i hate putting new aluminum radiators but we'll show you that in that update really hope you all enjoyed this if you have and you want to see more progress on this thing and the complete rebuild be sure to subscribe button notification bell to keep up with our future uploads this build and our other rebuilds and rescues and if you have been a part of the channel we do appreciate it so incredibly much we're getting to rebuild and bring back this piece of history and it's because of each and all of you that we get to do that but that is going to wrap it up peace out and catch you all on the flip side